Tschüss. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads are the nice power, huh? Yeah. Fireweed, huh? The hot. You want to look at it? Yeah. Whoa, it's fire. You want to wash it out? Yeah, yeah, wash it out. We're going to go to the beach today, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, Carrie, you don't have fishes. All right, well, welcome back. So today we are headed out. We are going dip netting. We are what we would consider a little bit earlier because normally, or at least I should say last year, uh, all the fish didn't show up till next week. But this year, it seems like they're coming in early. So we are headed out and we are hopefully going to catch our limit and fill our freezers. Yeah, so um, our limit is 55. So you get 25 per head of household and 10 for every other person in your family. So we are hoping for that. We're actually waiting in line right now um, to get in. You have to pay and park and it is quite a bit of a walk. And this is our first time bringing kids uh, dip netting. So um, yeah, so it's gonna be a little interesting, um, but we hopefully came prepared with everything that we need and are looking forward to catching some fish. Look at the line, it is a line. Everybody knows the fish are in. So when we were staring at the fish count, we found that two days ago, it was 191,000 came up the river. So we're hoping that the numbers are still very heavy and that we're not just going there and not, not to catch. So for some people it's hit or miss, but we're hoping that we are hitting a hot spot. Looks like everybody else thinks it's hot today. So it's gonna be a busy weekend out here yeah. on the Kenai River, but we're gonna be busy right now and hopefully beat the weekend rush and not have to come back out. Yeah, today's Friday and the weather is supposed to be beautiful today and all weekend. And so I think a lot of people have the idea, but we're hoping to beat all the people coming from Anchorage. A lot of people come from out, of, out of, from Anchorage and out of town. And so we're hoping to beat that rush. And in case you guys aren't familiar with dip netting, it's for Alaska residents only. You can't come here as a tourist or just visiting and dip net. You have to be here for at least a year in order to dip net. But you can still catch plenty of fish just by fishing the river, especially when the numbers like this are this high. If you're out there on the river, you're going to be catching as well. So you'll hit your limit, then you can come out at midnight and hit another limit. And, you know, you can walk away with, you know, a dozen fish within, you know, 24 hours easily. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and just keep waiting in this line. And we're going to be up there soon and hopefully we'll be catching. You helping mama push? Good job. Push, push. All right, Bubba, I'm going to go out into the water, okay? You having fun? Yeah! Splash, splash, splash! Splash, splash, splash! No, no, tight! Oh, tight? Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, a flounder. A decent sized one, too. Nice looking, though. Yeah. Just catching left and right. There we go. Look, Dad, Daddy got a fishy. Look. Woo! All right. Whoa, look at that. Finally, huh? Whoa! Get him out of the water. Daddy got a fish, Harrison. Come on, let's go look. Wow. Whoa! I'm just gonna use the hammer. There you go. Look at that fishy. Are those cookies yummy? Yeah. Let me see them. What color is that? What color? What color is the bag? Purple. Purple? Good job. Can mommy have a cookie? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I can have one. Can I have one cookie? 
It's okay. Is the water coming at us? Yeah. Yeah, the tide's coming in. Whoa. Look at this, Bubba. Another Whoa. one. Look at it. Is that another fish? Yeah, it's a big fish, huh? Oh, yeah. Whoa, it's a big Look fish? It. It's a big fish, huh? Yeah. Do you want to bonk it? No. Does Mama want to bonk it? Sure, I'll bonk it. Okay, Mama, you get to bonk it now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Big fish, huh? There we go. Oh no. Oh no, we lost the fishy. Oh no. He got away. Hey Dad. He went out. Daddy lost him. That's okay. We'll get another one. You want to come bunk it? <laughs> wow. There we go. Uh, Next one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. More fishy? Yeah. Look, wait to daddy real quick. Woo! Another fish. Yeah. Go get daddy the stick. Go get the stick. Get it. Thank you, Baba. Daddy bunk it? Big hard, huh? You want to do it? No. You want to try? No, that's big hard. Okay. One more time? Boom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, more, more. Oh, one more? No. All right, there you go. <laughs> okay. Yay! Yay! All right, and look at it goes. All right. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Yeah. Come here, Jason. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Another one? Look at big fishy. Whoa. There he is. Is that a big fishy? Is that a big fishy? Yeah, go get the stick. Yeah, go get it. Right, way over there by the bucket. Go get it. By the bucket. There we go. Looking good. Beautiful little fish, eh? I'm talking about you, not the fish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, dropping it in the bucket. Into the bucket it goes. Woo! All right, Bubba, I'm gonna go back out, okay? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you can watch. Yeah, that sounds good. Hi. No. <laughs> Are you all warm? Yeah. You all warm in there? Little 
little snug bug. My little snug bug. <laughs> Are you wearing daddy's hat? Where's Harrison? Where's Harrison at? Where is he at? Okay, I don't know. I don't know where he went. I don't know. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> there he is. Hi, hey, cutie. I don't know. There he is. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> Big boo. It's a long walk now. Yeah, it is. Getting longer and longer. Yeah, there we go. Get bongs, I don't think. <laughs> But it doesn't have a choice. <laughs> bye bye, Bishy. Bye. Thank you for the food. Uh, my yeah, thing. I gotta say thank you for the food. Yeah. Thank you, Bishy. <laughs> yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job. Oh, yay! Barack. <laughs> <laughs> and the bucket it goes. There we go. All right, well, we just got finished. We were out here for like six hours. We only caught six fish, so we averaged uh, one fish an hour. The past two days have been huge numbers, and today we just got unlucky, and uh, the numbers were not big. But uh, at least we caught some. We didn't walk away empty handed for a while there. I was getting worried. And just uh, anybody else who knows, it seems to be better luck, even though they say two hours before and after high tide. I was doing great right before low tide, and that's really when I caught most of my fish. We could have stayed longer, you know, but we have kids, and it's hard. You know, they're only entertained for so long. But beautiful day. We really enjoyed the weather, playing in the sand and the water. So it was a really good day. But no worries. Uh, there's more time to go dip netting, and then there's some time to go fishing. And I'm actually planning on hopefully going fishing here pretty soon. And that would be wonderful to catch some more fish, because I tell you what, I, I really like me some smoked fish, and that is just something... Well, to do and we have a freezer to fill we have a lot of canning we want to be doing and a lot of smoking and brining we want to do so yeah, yeah we've got to get some more fish yeah we really got to catch our limit all right we are going to get out of here and head on home and we'll see you at the next place all right we're back again day two the other side closer to the mouth of the river Wow, what a muddy mess. Whoa. Got stuck in the net though. Pretty good. Couldn't make you work for it. Yeah, I see that. Woo. All right, there we go. Beautiful fish, but very muddy because it's a muddy mess over here. <laughs> That's okay. Did you get muddy? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Into the bucket. In the bucket. Is it very muddy? Yeah, it's Yeah, I'll take it. All right, I'm gonna go back to the same spot. <laughs> Jillian! Oh my gosh, I got a shark too. Alright, come on. Little fishy. It's a spiny dogfish right there. Wow. Right here, bud. Looks like there's a lot of holes. It looks like it's a dead. dead, it's a dead spiny it's dogfish, dead. but it's still a spiny dogfish. Wow. Funny. <laughs> I didn't kill it though. What kind of spiny dog fish? Is that like a trout? No, it's a shark. It's a form of shark. Oh, how cool. Yeah, it has a spine yeah. in its back right here. Look at this. You can see it right here. Whoa, here's a baby shark. <laughs> and you touch that and uh, you yeah. get a lot of owies. It's a dead shark though, so it was already dead when I pulled it up. Whoa, do you see the shark? Yep, none. Can you sing baby shark? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a baby shark. It's a muddy mess? Yeah. That's a baby shark. Mud. You see the baby shark? Look, in the mud? Yeah. Oh, mud. Hey. We have to come back out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two, and then we got a dogfish over there. Funny shark. It's a dead shark though, so it was already dead when I pulled it up. Oh, a okay. Look, we got another fish. Whoa. You got a what? A flounder. Let me see him. Wow. Look at that little <laughs> flounder. Harrison, look at the fishy. Found look at it. the flounder. Isn't that nice? <laughs> it's nice, huh? Do you want me to throw it back? Yeah. Watch Daddy throw it. Ready? Yeah. Far? Yeah. Two. Three. Whee! I think so. <clears throat> Feels like it. If not, I just did a whole bunch of walking. Oh, yeah, I did. A lot of walking. Got me a flounder. Is that fun? Yeah. <laughs> what? Where's there mud? There's lots of mud, huh? <laughs> Another flounder. Oh, and a salmon. Okay. How's it going? Oh, it looks so tangled. Yeah, this is real tangled. Man, these are fighters over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like... Well, we've caught more in uh Yeah, we did. An hour than we have for this little time. Has it been an hour already? I can't even figure out where this thing is coming from and where this thing is going, honestly. Woo! My fishy. That's what three? Bye Harrison! Bye-bye. Is that a good hot dog? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a yummy hot dog? Yeah. They were giving out free hot dogs, huh? Yeah, free hot dogs. Yummy. <laughs> you drink your water? Well, it's tough fishing, isn't it? Builds up an appetite. <laughs> Look at that little skelly thing. Are you having fun? Yeah. Are you scooping the dirt? Shoveling the dirt? The dirt. <laughs> Is that fun? Where's your sand castle stuff at? Your bucket? Oh, she's cute. Tiny little fishes. All right, it's four in the bucket. Are you having fun making sand castles? Let me see your sand castle. Whoa! Let me see your heat castle. You Miss Blakely. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> you got dirt on you. You got some sand on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, woo -hoo. Did you have fun? Yeah. Was it a good time? Whoa. Did you see a big fishy? Yeah. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> All right, been a lot of sun today, but we ended up with uh, 10 fish total, which is not too bad. We didn't really have a whole lot of time because, you know, with kids, it's a little different. You got to gotta do what the kids need. It was nice today, but it was a little bit warm and then, you know, nap time and everything and just being out there kind of bored. We had a lot of fun, but, uh, you know, kids, we, we were having to leave a little bit earlier than we'd want to, but we did get 10 fish. 
All right, well, we're headed home and we're gonna go fillet these fish and start the brine for these fish. Well, today was a very long day. We ended up going out there twice, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. And we were actually going for the outgoing tide. So when high tide came, we would show up and then try to fish the outgoing tide. I hear a lot of people have a lot amount of luck doing that. When it comes to kids, you know, you can't stay out there all day long. As much as we'd like to, we would have loved to stay longer and caught more fish. So yeah, we ended up going home midday. Everybody got their naps. We got some food in us. And then we head back out in the afternoon and got the afternoon's outgoing tide. It was a good time. We still got a lot of fish, uh, enough to at least get our smoking going. And we are happy with that. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and cut these up here. Now, you may already know this, but there are two different ways of cutting this up. A lot of people think there's just one way. One of the main things to note is to take the bellies off because um, those bellies are good eating and so you're just going to come up right behind the fin here the frontal fin and you're just slicing into and then down trying not to grab the guts so you're just trying to take just the belly and that is good smoking meat right there so there is your belly with that beautiful orange in there looks really good that's going to be dropped in our bucket because we're going to be smoking that so after you take the bellies off, a lot of people will take this fin off here, this upper fin, just take this fin off. And that'll go to the chickens. And then we gut the fish here. And this one looks like it's a male. All right, so after you're done gutting the fish, you're gonna place your knife right along the spine here. And you're gonna place it to where you fill it for the spine. You're going to end up filling for the spine. And you're going to go above it, and you'll go in and across, and you'll drag it towards the head. Again, running along the spine. And then you'll turn it, turn the blade, and you'll run it along to the tail. And then you'll leave that attached. You'll turn it over again. Do the same thing along the spine. Again, towards the tail, turn it around, and then towards the head. Now from there, that is when you'll go ahead and cut down in front of this, in front of the gill. And you'll take that off, and then you can finish taking this off here. And there you go, you get a real clean fish, real clean cut, and that is going to the chickens. The reason why I did not cut my fish while I was out there is because I like to give my fish guts and remainders to the chickens. A lot of people who have chickens do that, so it's not uncommon to see that. And then you always take off the ribs. And there you go. Got a beautiful filet there. Same to the other side. All right, and then another beautiful filet. Oh, and by the way, these knives here are amazing. A lot of the fishermen actually use this in the south. These are Dexter knives, and they come in a pack of twos, and they're pretty cheap, but yet they're extremely well-made filet knives. And uh, I'll have a link in the description. All right, so the second method is Again, starting up here where these fins start, we're going to cut in. And then cut across. And you're basically going all the way to where the fish's butt would be. And again, that gives you that beautiful uh, tummy full of fat. Great for smoking. And so the second method is... I still like to take the top fin off. And then you're just gonna come in like you would normally see somebody do with a fillet. And you just come straight down to the bone. 
then start cutting in and you're just going to cut, cut across aiming your knife towards the bone. A lot of you already probably know this. And there you go. And that leaves you from having to gut it. Because that's going to the chickens anyways. I don't know, why don't you tell me what you think is the best way to fillet. Do you think you like that method? Or <clears throat> I guess I would call it the regular filleting method. Or do you like the one where you're more precise and going in, attached underneath the bone. and Because really the, the first way that I showed you is more of a learner's way of filleting. And the second way is more of a... Somebody who's been doing it a long time knows exactly what pieces of meat they want to keep and uh, or might be just considered the normal way. Real quickly here, not sure how many of you have seen salmon roe, but there they are. And chickens, they love these things. Now you can do a, like a 30 second salt bath and eat them yourselves, but I don't really much care for salmon roe. I've tried it. But right now I'm just going to feed these to the chickens because I love eating eggs that are filled with omegas. And you can always tell when the chickens have those omegas. Their yolk will turn a super dark yellowish orange. And this is so good for your chickens. And I got a lot of chickens now and I want to keep them healthy. I want to keep them happy and I want to keep them laying eggs. And this is one way to do it. So that's why I like to make sure I point out too that yes, I am not cutting this at the beach, but there is nothing going to waste. I am using all of this to feed chickens and everything else that the chickens don't eat will be used in fertilizer for future gardens and stuff like that, which will go to feed us and the chickens. Now I had a few small salmon and this one here is a big boy right here. Big boy. You know, there's a lot of nutrition in this. And if you've ever had Alaskan salmon from Alaska, not just because it says it on the store, I meant like actually being in Alaska and having it, you will know what I'm talking about. It is excellent. All right. So since I'm going to be smoking all these, I'm also going to slice into these. That way the brine can really get in there and get in between. And I like to have the slices already done. Plus it allows the smoke to travel in there a little bit better as well. So what I'll do is I'll take a slice, I'll cut in it, but not cut both sides of the skin, just cut in between. So in the top, just below the skin, drag it down, just before the skin ends, and you have a nice slice, but yet it's holding together. And I'll leave the tails alone because they're already thin. Throw it in the bucket. In this case, it's my cooler because this is a lot of fish. I'm going to do the brine in the cooler. And I'm going to mix the brine in the bucket and pour it into the cooler. All right, so we're going to get our brine together here. And really, I like to have it very simple. So what I use is salt, sugar, garlic. I'm going to crush the garlic. Drop it in there. I'll have to go get that one. All right, so there's my garlic, my salt, my sugar. I'm just gonna dump them in. I'm gonna mix them up. I'm just gonna add some. All right, and again, I'm gonna keep this cold. We're gonna put some ice in here and uh, keep it real, real cold. Because we don't want that bacteria to form or the meat to spoil. We spent all that time catching this and uh, cutting it up. 
it's some beautiful and very good for you meat. I'll see you in 48 hours. All right, it has been 48 hours and we are done brining this. As you can see here, it really firmed up and actually shrunk it in some ways. You just lay this out here. So what it does with all the water is it displaces all the water and uh, you know makes it even amongst all the cells of the meat. So that's why I put these cuts in here. And also when it comes to smoking, it's gonna be a lot better off when I smoke it. But that's it right there. Now I can just tell you just by the firmness of it has increased a lot from all that salt and sugar. So we're gonna get this smoking. So it's been brining for 48 hours and I'm gonna end up smoking it for eight hours total. And we'll see the intermittent parts and then the, finally the end result. I don't want you to forget either to rinse it off. So I got this bucket here, just a water, I'm just dropping the fish in here. And then we're gonna place it up here. And now we're gonna start smoking it. We're gonna get it all laid up here first. And before I forget too, I didn't wanna, I wanted to show you here all the stomachs here. So we're gonna smoke all these too. Now these are real fatty. So these would be really good tasting. Um, just plain old smoked, you know, you can even turn them, turn them into jerky or something, but these are really good tasting. So I'm gonna put them on the top shelf here. All right, there we are. We got our racks filled with some fish here and we're gonna go ahead and get that smoking. Um, and you wanna aim for your temperature to be about 140 to one and no more than 160 for when you're smoking this. So we're gonna go ahead and get ours going here and we will check on it as we uh, go. All right, that salmon is smoking up nicely. It's starting to get real tough. Yeah, looking good. Look at the fat that comes off of those. It's crazy. We're gonna let it keep going. It's got about four more hours. Well, there we are, it is already late. As you can see, it is turning dark so quickly now in comparison. I mean, it is midnight and it's already starting to get dark. Probably another hour of daylight left, which means that winter is slowly coming. But there we are. There is the salmon fully smoked. It's been eight hours. All right. So there's the finished product, the smoked salmon. Uh, this one happens to be a belly bite right here. I'm going to give it a try. That's fantastic. That's gonna go really good on all kinds of stuff. My favorite way is to mix it with some mayo, dill, salt, and pepper. But uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Such a wonderful flavor. That's uh, Alaskan salmon for you. It's so good. All right, well, we'll see you next time on Good Living Alaska. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. Ha, ha, ha.